Well, tomorrow we celebrate New Zealand's 19th National Poetry Day, which promises to bring poetry in all of its forms to all corners of the country. Part of the event is local hip-hop artist and spoken word poet Dominic Hoey. Great to have you here. It's good to be here. Now, interesting, poetry as a profession, it's a bit unusual these days. Yeah, I guess on paper, but um, I don't know, it just kind of took off. I was rapping at the same time, and then the poetry weirdly became more popular, and I was like, oh, I guess I go down that road. Now, I, I guess the thing with your poems, too, is that they can be quite controversial, so you use them <laughs> for good as well, to make yeah. statements. Is yeah. that part of, you know, you, you, I guess your, your genre? Yeah, I, more and more, um, I guess the political stuff has started to take off, because I write a lot of love poems, too. Really? People okay. seem to be more um, interested in the political hey, ones. I like love poems. <laughs> <laughs> I like love poems. Yeah, so I like love poems, too. That's my preferred genre. But um, I guess it's quite a direct way to say something. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, and it was interesting, you know, because I, when you're in the room, I wanted to run out on the street, I wanted to catch a bus, because there's something about your mana that makes me nervous. So, you know, <laughs> really? I was, I was, yeah. What I, is no, that? I was just trying a little palm there. Did oh, you pick it, it up? Nice. Yeah, no, like thank who? you. Yeah, thank you. It was super average, I thought. No. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay when well, we've got the expert in the room with no, us. No, that's right. No, 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 <laughs> but, but there is, you know, because I, I read a lot about you, and I've heard a few of your podcasts too over the years. Oh, and, cool. um, and I'm like, oh, well, okay, I, I respect what you do, but I guess I get nervous when I'm near you for some unknown reason. It's like, I'm really worried you're going to oh, bust out of Isn't that, actually, Maybe it's because, you know, you, you, your name, this Tourette's part of the thing. I mean, yeah. how did all that come about? Because when I've said Tourette's coming on, I thought, OK, this is going to be an interesting show for 9 o'clock in the morning <laughs> on a Thursday. Um, I was in a rap group and then I went solo and I needed a name and it just came up and then I tattooed it on my chest mm. and that was about 20 years ago. And who would have thought you'd get sick of it? But um, I'm kind of stuck with it now. <laughs> it's stuck. It and really the more that things get more popular, I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to be like 60 with this name. So. Yeah, well, you tattooed it on your body. What do you yeah, expect? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you've got some performances coming up, and we'll talk about them in just a minute, and hopefully we're going to get one out of you. But I also wanted to talk about the um, Ngā Rangatahi Toa mm -hmm. group that you're associated with. What is that all about? So it's like an um, artist mentor program where we work with kids that have been kicked out of uh, mainstream education. Um, well, I say kids, but you know, people between the ages of about 13 to 17. And um, I work with them on poetry and hip hop, and but it's also sort of like showing love and support yeah. and trying to engage them to sort of transition into either back into education or maybe into work. That's awesome. And you brought Bradley in. With I today have brought Bradley. Going yeah, this is my new mentee. No, and awesome. what made you want to do that? Um, <laughs> well, I guess with poetry, it can be kind of like quite narcissistic, like any art, and so it's right. nice to give back and also. I've learned all this stuff, so it's really nice to actually share it. That's a great you know? attitude. I love that attitude. Mm. So are you going to do something for us now? I yeah. have. I've got a bunch of little poems that I thought I'd do. That'd be great. Okay, okay, awesome. see this. Nice, yeah. I'm excited. OK, here we go. This one's called Friday Night. I can't find the dog's rash, but he has ointment with his name on it, so there is a rash. <laughs> <laughs> Friday night. That's yeah. close, exactly my Friday night. <laughs> with children, uh. not dogs. <laughs> OK, I stole the baby Jesus. When the poor are all moved to Ashburton, and the artists are all bought, and the city's a glorified strip mall. Every night it will be like Christmas Eve on Franklin Road. Ooh. Here we go, you like that one? Yeah. yeah. Okay, just one last one. Okay. okay. One last one. This one's called, I can't light a fire, but I can write you an awesome poem about lighting a fire. <laughs> the I artists went to the beach. They had to catch the bus because neither of them could drive. It was cold, but they didn't know how to light a fire, so they sat by the water in silence, shivering until the bus came to take them home. The next day, they made the most beautiful art about the beach, the end. Oh, nice. Nice work. <laughs> I feel quite honoured that I've seen you do that live in front of me. Thank you so Did much. Did you come to a show I will, I Friday. will. I'll head along Friday. There you go. Time out bookstore. Mm -hmm. OK, this, uh, this year's programme is tagged Unleash the Power of Poetry, and it features 100 events for all ages around the country. Check out the New Zealand Book Awards website for all the details. Thank you so much yeah, for coming in. Thanks for having me.